How's it going gamer? You got hands here. And today in Dauntless we're going over a big damage low life build for Thrax's chain blades. This is a flawless type build so be ready. You cannot get hit very often. You have very little health but man does it pack a big punch. In this build we're also utilizing Reaper's Dance and Momentum Blades which are some of my favorites for the chain blades and that really helps you stack up some big damage and you can try to synergize that with the lantern tap and while you maintain your shadow orbs on your chain blades and drop some big numbers guys. So this build has room for adaptability. If you don't like such low amount of health and you would prefer a little bit more attack speed, you can definitely drop a berserker cell for a wild frenzy. Remember you might think a build like this is too hard for you, but you're not going to get better unless you practice, so keep practicing with these harder more difficult low life builds and you'll definitely get where you want to be. Turn on your system, grab your chain blades, and let's get ready! We're about to get into this video right now. What is up gamer? Hands at you with another Thrax chain blades build. This time it's a big damage, low life, flawless type build. So watch out, this bad boy does some damage, but you don't got very much health. Let's hop into this because I know you're excited. What you're going to want to do is get Night Terrors, which is Thrax's chain blades. You're going to want to throw an Overpower Cell and a Berserker Cell. And like I said in my previous video, hands down the best special in mod is Reaper's Dance and Momentum Blades. They are dope for damage and I just love them. The Bond is Riftstalker's chain blades. That has a Wild Frenzy in it. And the great thing is they have those damage stacking orbs that are really good and they stack well with Predator and Berserker if you can maintain doing damage. For the headpiece we have Shroud's headpiece that has a rage and we're going to put a discipline cell. For the chest that's Shroud's chest that has a rage and we're going to put an overpower cell. For the hands that's Malkarion's hands that has a predator and we're going to put another berserker cell in that bad boy. For the feet that's Kashai's feet that has a predator and we're going to put a zeal. Also I should suggest if you have catalyst definitely throw catalyst in there and if you can afford tonics run that catalyst type build use your tonics use catalyst and go ham y'all but otherwise zeal is great alternative for the lantern I wanted to do as much damage as I could so I'm using Drask's eye and zeal to increase that insta tap for 30% increased damage so that's really good if you want more attack speed and maybe that might be a little bit more DPS use Shrike's lantern that is really great for mobility and increased attack speed if you use Shrike's Lantern, I would suggest to change the Zeal Cell to something else. For the Tonics, I love rocking Assault, Blitz, and Frenzy, especially if you're using the Catalyst build. Definitely rock those bad boys to go hard. So all in all, what we got going on in this build is a plus six Berserker. That's pretty significant. It takes away a lot of your life, but you do a lot of good damage if you can maintain doing hits overpower that's 60 percent damage versus staggered behemoths and they will be staggered without a doubt son predator that's 35 percent damage if you can maintain not to get hit for 15 seconds and rage that's 25 percent damage all the time because we're rocking discipline so if you look what we got going on here rage predator and berserker are all consistent damage buffs so that is really beneficial if you're trying to get sub three type hunts because these damage buffs cells are always proccing no matter what unlike overpower where you have to stagger a behemoth break apart or interrupt them for this to proc so these sync very well together if you can maintain to not get hit and maintain doing damage zeal that's a 65 percent lantern tap ability effectiveness to dress tap which is that 30% increased damage. Well, this boosts that bad boy up and it gives us a really nice boost of damage. It's really dope. Discipline, we're rocking this so we can maintain a half health build and utilize Wild Frenzy and Rage at a consistent manner, but it also gives you a 7.5% critical strike chance. Wild Frenzy will be doing a 12.5 increase attack speed all the time because we're rocking Discipline. So this build is really good. It's a flawless type build. You have to really practice dodging and chain blades really help you with that because you have many ways to dodge. You know when you're popping back and forth from your special or just the regular dodge. It is really nice mobility build and this should really help you get a lot of sub 3 behemoth kills without a doubt. I hope you have fun. 
Alright gamer, I hope you enjoyed this video as with all my other videos. If you're new here, please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button and click on that bell for notifications so we can stay together as a crew. And hey, it would be really dope if you could share this link with your friends and let them know what I got going on here. I'm definitely here for you guys. So with that said, don't hesitate to throw a comment down below. Let's start a little chat and you let me know what you want me to work on next. And I will definitely try to get at that. This is Han signing out. Peace, y'all.